Good day, everyone, and welcome to the Leader on the Mix show. I'm your guest host for today, Audrey Tong. And today on the show, we have with us Masami Sato, who is here for the Gathering of the Great Minds conference. So tell us a little bit about the conference. Right. <laughs> well, the conference, um, um, we've been invited, and also um, Paul Dan, who is uh, um, in our team at B1G1 you know, as well, he spoke at the first conference in the series of three conferences. And uh, I will be speaking in the third one. And uh, this conference um, and, and is all about um, getting people to come together, um, you know, to be really open to a new concept and how, you know, learning about how we can lead our life um, in a really empowered way. So um, it seems, because I haven't spoken yet, so <laughs> I can't tell you about conference, <laughs> but it seems that uh, speakers, you know, come from all sort of a different path and different background and so on. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it, it's, it, if I was, you know, to be at the conference as an aud audience, it would be something I would look forward to, just learn something totally new, mm -hmm. but then in line, like bring that concept back in my life you know so that uh, um, from next day I can be living you know quite different life that's kind of things I suspect okay <laughs> so just briefly what what would you be sharing at the conference okay so mm -hmm. um, what I would be sharing it's very difficult to say okay <laughs> the reason why is often when you know we are speaking and when we are really in the you know moment of total presence and connecting with the audience often things we don't intend or we don't plan come out as well so I wouldn't probably it's better not to say this is exactly what I'm gonna be talking about because then people might get oh no she didn't you know talk about this she talked about something quite different as well um, so there will be some surprises coming up as well you know depending on the day <laughs> but then um, the key theme of the talk definitely will be um, something along the line of giving and um, I will talk a little bit more about that later, but uh, I represent and I'm the founder of organization called Buy One Give One, which is also called B1G1. And, uh, you know, we actually introduce a new way of giving. And then, you know, it, that's to um, business owners as well as individuals um, to see how we can all have the power to change lives every day. And that's not necessarily doing something really good you know, big or, um, um, you know, making massive contributions or such, but start from a little things we can do every day and embed giving into our everyday life so that we can lead the life um, with, uh, you know, empowered state, inspired state and, um, yeah, every day. So that's, that's really the concept of the talk. Um, but then often what happens at conference is that I'm talking about, you know, concept of giving, but what happens is then the audience end up giving out more <laughs> so yeah so that's that's yeah something um which might give you the okay. kind of like uh, idea so you talked a little bit about your uh project by yeah. one give one yeah so tell me how people can get involved like how does it work okay. so mm -hmm. um buy one give one specifically gives businesses mm -hmm. the power to change lives mm -hmm. um and then when I say business, it means everybody, right? Because every day when we wake up, then you know we start our day maybe having breakfast or taking you know cab or driving or uh, go to school or go to work or so all throughout our day, you know these business transactions um, happening. They are those things like that uh, so close to our everyday lives. So um, when we bring that power to businesses and business activities to give out more to give back to community or um, do more about the environment or you know, support education. or When those things happen, everybody's life uh, transforms. So um, if you are, for example, a business owner, then you, know, um, you might have been already um, doing charitable contribution or giving back or thinking about you know, how you could give back to the community. Or you might not be doing that because you're too busy. So a lot of yeah, what, what tend to happen to business owners is that they are often so busy, right, doing what they do. And it's really important that we grow our business every day so that we you know, become more productive, um, we produce better results, and you know, we um, do more sales. That's very important about business. However, when the soul of the business dies and you just become the machine of just turning profit or sales, then it can't, it, it, it can't be sustainable. 
and uh, you know people in the organizations or um, also the customers of you know, those businesses really get that you know that this, this business is no longer inspired mm -hmm. just they are just doing what they do you know for the sake of doing it so what giving does is to bring that enjoyment or bring that passion or purpose or um, caring you know back into business activities and business transaction and that spreads to customers so you know as a business you can kind of look at what b1g1 is doing then you might say okay well every time we sell a cup of coffee at a cafe i want to give clean you know access to clean water for a day to a child and then that might just cost one cent a cup to give out to actually make that happen and but we don't really see it that way that charitable giving became something that we stand on the stage with a big check and you got to write as big number as possible so that you feel you did something mm -hmm. but what if if every day we did something it made a difference or every single transaction you know uh, or when our team is serving the customer it's actually making a difference then the things you know about the giving changes the feel of organization as well so um, we work with businesses to literally make that happen um, whether it's a food company or a consulting company or a, you know technology company or architecture you know builders or um, property sales company it doesn't matter where you come from because we all share this concept that you know giving is a part of who we are so why don't we bring that concept of giving close to our business so that our team becomes giving you know our customers become giving and we all you know come from more of a giving rather than taking so that's what we do as a b1g1 um, uh, as a giving platform huh. <laughs> that's incredible so what inspired you to do this well um, I think everybody you know whether we admit it or not we all like to give we all love to care so that's why we have family right because we want to see our children grow up in you know abundance or um, have a great education to do well or you know if uh, our neighbors have a troubles um, uh, who we care for then we want to help them so we have we all have this sense of wanting to give because it makes us feel good right so giving is not just about doing good but it's about feeling good too mm -hmm. so um, when I started uh, first business giving was very important part of what we did back then as well that was um, nine ten years ago and uh, because I had a food background I used to be chef for many years <laughs> so um, for me it was natural to say okay well let's go into food business because I love food and food nurtures people uh, more than you know beyond just the, about eating it's about sharing the great time together um, to share great conversation around the meal so that's what food was about for me so I got into food business and then um, because I traveled around a lot when I was younger um, I saw, you know, depending on the countries I was going, I saw a lot of people living on the street, um, kids, you know, who can go to school. Um, and I remembered that. And that was when I was having my first daughter um, and looking at her face and realizing that, uh, you know, she has family, she has, you know, parents who love for her, love her. And, but there are many kids who don't have the same privilege, right? So if we are to go in a business, then that need to give back in some way that uh, people who can't directly buy our product, you know, beyond our customers, we wanted to share the joy of eating healthy food and, you know, having a healthy lifestyle and so on. So um, our company's motto or vision was to give back so that we can share that with a um, lot of street children around the world. So. Yes, now we've got great mission <laughs> to do, you know, uh, good and then start up with limited capital, work long hours and, you know, um, um, work harder, a lot of stress or and then getting over those things because we 
believed in what we were doing. So we didn't give up, you know, we keep, kept going. And then finally, when we were getting into more of a um, easier stage, we are expanding, you know, like we got our product into supermarket or, so when we were getting into that stage, we, I just stopped one day when I was in the you know, production facility with others and I stopped and I thought, well, we've worked so many years, you know, with a uh, passion to do something. Um, and then I realized I was being too busy. Even though no matter, you know, how we improved what we were doing, we were still busy. So from here, you would think you look up and see, think, oh, when I get to that point, or when I become more successful, when we do better, then we can give back more. So what tends to happen is we set our goal or objectives too far away that we feel only you know, meeting these conditions of success, we can do what we want to do. So it becomes like a never ending chase, right? Because when we get bigger, then the goal is actually ahead of us. <laughs> so one day I thought that's really crazy. You know, instead of trying to do huge things, why don't we actually break it down? Why don't we do it every day? So it becomes part of almost like a habit or um, uh, everyday activity. So then from the idea around we give our profit away to support the children to we actually, every time we sell a packet of meal, we feed a child. Mm. And suddenly, when that concept came up and we started to you know, talk about it, we started to you know, implement it. And when, when that was happening, we realized that feeling around the business changed, right? Because it's no longer about this company, great company, you know, trying to do good thing or doing good thing. It's no longer about that. It's about the customers who buy um, a, our product or it's about our team members who produce or who pack these meals. They are the one who do great things. They are the one making a difference. And that sense of contribution and making a difference together really transformed what we are doing and how we felt about our business. And then one day we thought, well, what if, if it wasn't only about our business? You know, it's easy to hold on to concept, right? that we own this concept of buy one, give one or something. But we realized that by sharing that concept with all sort of businesses around the world, they want to make a difference in different ways. And we might be able to support street children with food. But what if you know, somebody else or another company came up and they supported education? Other companies supported you know, tree planting project, then immediately, um, through our everyday activities, we can together change our world. Mm -hmm. So that's how B1G1 got launched. Um, that was th over three years ago now. And now we have uh, businesses around the world participating. We've got a great giving engine. We've got a lot more development going on. And we just feel really grateful for what it, what, what, what's happening. Wow. <laughs> I'm really inspired by everything that you've been sharing today. And I'm really sure that everyone who's watching feels really inspired as well. So thank you so much for being on our show today. I guess if you guys want more information, you can always Google up Buy One, Give One, and you'll be able to find out more about this whole concept and how you can be involved. So thank you very much for watching the Leaderomics show today, and have a great day. Thank you. Thanks.